guys. Step that drag a bit. <laughs> Lunge to a spot. Okay. Okay. switch. So as far as our training goes, right now I'm not teaching you anything fancy. We're focusing so much on your stance. We're focusing on jab and cross, so straight punches. We're focusing on just kick. No hooks, no uppercuts, no funny, no, no flashy stuff. Okay, I want you to perfect that jab. I want you to perfect that cross. I want you to perfect that right kick. Have a good yeah. And then when I can see it, okay, now you have two basics, then we move on. You know what Brucey said? I don't know if it's true though. <laughs> no, they say, don't be scared of the guy who knows 10,000 techniques, but be scared of the guy who knows one technique, but he does it 10,000 times. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure I've misquoted him, but that, that's the gist. Oh, she's, she's a natural, I, I can say. Like, you told me she only trained uh, 10 times in Thailand. She learned, it's good. Thank you, good coaches. Well, the previous coach, right? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Play it together, thank you. Because I've had a little bit of training there. Mm. I've had a little bit of your training through Andy. Mm. Then I've had a little bit of your training too. So I think it's all like played a part. Because each night after I was training in camp, we were coming home going through everything. Mm -hmm. So it's still yeah. your teachings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always explain it like, think of yourself as a, a toolbox, right? Right. Yes. At the start, you don't have any tools. Yeah. And then you, you learn something, you put wow. in your toolbox, you learn something, you put in your toolbox. Yeah, you start collecting. And then once you have these things, you learn how to use them. Like, when, uh, what's the, yeah. when do I use this? When do I use Yeah. That? You know exactly when it's pulled out the bag. Exactly. You're going to be a Swiss army knife. <laughs> Box. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, push. Well done. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm well, thank you. I just feel really, really tired after it and my back was playing up a little bit. Do you feel like this every time you exercise or...? Pretty much every time I do weights. When I do boxing for some reason, it, it doesn't hurt me at all. But as soon as I go to lift weights or do anything that's like impact, like jumping off the ground or anything like that, for some reason my back and my neck just kind of not fully seize up, but they get really, really tight. Have any underlying issues? Like, is it, is, how long has, has this been happening? Mm, I would say it's been happening about the last 10 years. Actually, exactly 10, 10 years. years. Yes. So, as soon as I use them too much, it seizes up all the way up my neck. It's very important to keep on top of this stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I think we should get some help from a physio okay. to, to get this sorted, to, to actually see what's going on with your body. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sad to hear that, but at the same time, that's actually good that your body is telling you that something is wrong and that you should address it. Let's go ahead and see a physio and then see what he says. Really like to know what kind of movements can cause problem, okay. um, what kind of exercises can help you so that we can get parfait on board and then you're only as strong as you know, the weakest body part, right? And obviously, yeah. we don't want to get injured. We should be training smart. And, and prevent any injury and so that we can, we, can, we, can, we can push on. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Okay, thank you, Rain. Speak soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Super tight here. Yeah, it's super tight. tight. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, that's it. Just tight. No it's pain. Tight. No pain. Just pain. pain. Okay. Where is it? So today we're here to see a physio. I've had some back issues in the past and it's kind of lingering and affecting training now so I've been told to stop training until I've had a physio appointment so now we're here to see the physio. Hopefully get my back and neck sorted and I have a little injury in my wrist as well so hopefully we can get some little bits fixed up and I'll be in great shape for the fight. Well, just the base problems never fixed. Mm. So I think this time we can just grab a chance to slowly build the... Yes, build it up. There and hopefully make a stronger body. Mm -hmm. Have to. Less likely to get injured. How do you feel today? I don't know. Yeah, I feel better now, actually okay. much better than what I did. Okay, I don't know. So a little bit, maybe 30%. It's just here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, right. okay, thank you yeah. so much. So it is official, Jen and I will be having a Muay Thai fight very, very soon. But I guess the number one question everyone has is why? <laughs> why are you doing this? Why are you putting yourself out there? For me, it's kind of like a path of self-discovery. It's about challenging myself and making myself become a better person. And I feel like it's something that forces me outside of my comfort zone whilst also embarking on a healthy lifestyle. 
I know it would be more amusing if we had lots of hate for each other and you know we're like the other YouTubers that just are like bouncing off each other but we have no hate, all love and actually this is our way of supporting each other so Jen's been going through a very rough time and I've been going through quite a rough time too so for me it's something that I can really focus all my negative energy on and just use that as a release. I'm just glad that we can finally start to share things with people because for a few weeks we had it under wraps, we couldn't tell anyone about it and I feel like encouraging others is something that led me to Hong Kong. So as a nurse I can help one patient at a time, maybe in one day I can help four or five patients. But with being a Miss Hong Kong I'm hoping that I can spread joy, spread love, spread happiness and hopefully motivate others. And this is why you need to tune into my YouTube videos to join me on this journey. And I just feel like helping people is something that I've always felt a need to do. I just feel like this journey is a way that I can reach so many people without having to be there hand on hand. But spreading love and joy through the internet, I feel like it's a much better way. So Jen, I hope you're training hard because I'm coming for you soon. But you know, it's all love.